Right. But Pat, you said that I think when you walked in too, there was three levels of heat. And Andrew Taya said this live. He said there's three ways to get you out of the matrix. They they uh, cancel you. They did one part. Number two, they put you in jail. And he goes, the third part, and he goes, this is the scary part, is they kill your ass. You fall. You have a heart attack. Some, a plane crashes. So he's he's he has strike two. Mm-hmm. There's one more strike. And like you said, like when, when, when is enough? When is the point, Pat, that you say, okay, I'm going to shut up? Or do you think he's so diehard really for the people, just like Elon doing what he's doing, that he's like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to ride this wave to the end. What do you think? Where do you think he's at? I think he's a true believer. I don't think he's, you know, because if, if you want to make, if it's just purely about money, you don't do what he's doing. There's other ways to make money. Okay. If it's just purely about money, there's easier ways to make money without being a target. He is a true believer of what he believes in. Doesn't mean you have to agree with it, but he's not spewing out stuff that he doesn't believe in. Now, some of the stuff is marketing. Some of it is uh, showmanship. He's an incredible showman. Uh, he, he's, a, he, he's the combination of a great communicator, great storyteller, great troll, great showman, and a true believer. Combined all in one, which is an un- real combination. There are people that tell great stories, but here's how they talk. So Vinny, yeah. six o'clock in the morning, yeah. they went in. Mm-hmm. When they opened the door, what happened? they saw three lions. Oh, one of them winked at them. Uh-huh. The other one had to go to the bathroom. Oh shit! The third one was missing its mom. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, in the back, there was three rats that no. ran out. <laughs> Detail. Yeah. Every but but this there's yeah. no yeah. inflection. Bam, in your voice. bam, yeah. bam, yeah. bam, 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 yeah. bam. You know, so it's like yeah. so he's doing that and then he's mocking them. He's mocking the powerful people. Look, it's mm-hmm. you cannot be surprised uh, when you bully the bully. There are levels to bullies. Yeah. Okay. You know what's the lowest level bully? What's the lowest level bully? Internet? No, no. What's the low think about the Just bullies picking, in your life? Uh, picking on weak people. And then what's the lowest level bully? Picking on like the weakest. But of- what's the fastest way to filter out somebody that's a low level bully? To filter them out. Yeah. How do you how do you feel? Let's go through different levels of bullies. Okay. Okay. Lowest level of bully is what? What's the lowest level Call of a bully? Calling your names. And I know. Color? I know. So how do you and I categorize how strong of a bully this guy is? What's the first thing you do to a bully to find out if this guy's a real bully? You step to him. You step okay. to him. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. If they back down, what were they? Puss. Coward. Yeah, they're coward. they're the lowest level bully. Okay, mm-hmm. got you. What's the second level bully? That if you do step to them to fight, they're going to fight you. Okay. If you step to them and they fight, and they'll actually fight you. Yeah. Okay. And then if at the end of the fight, you maybe got your ass beat yeah. by the bully, but you were not willing to stop fighting and he finally said, listen, I got respect for you. Mm-hmm. You're bloody, yeah. but he's got a couple shots you got in as well. He whooped your ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, I respect you. Listen, man, I'll just, let's just kind of respect but don't mess with me, right? He still stays bully, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but now he knows. Yeah. So he's still a bully. Yeah. Okay. The third kind of bully is what? They beat your ass and then they keep coming and, and keep they coming. keep They're coming relentless. and keep coming. But you yeah. know what the highest level of bully is? Huh. You bully, they bully you, okay? You say something to them, they smile at you, they leave. <laughs> and you don't hear anything about them wow. ever again. But until one day. No, you don't hear from them. <laughs> Slowly but surely, your life starts getting worse and worse and worse in the most random, weird ways. Hmm. Those types of bullies generally work for the government. <laughs> Those types of bullies <laughs> don't work like, where's Pat in the going free enterprise. Pat? Okay? Yeah. Those types of bullies are the kind of bullies that will use laws. Wow. We'll use regulation, we'll use cops, mm. we'll use SWAT, judges, we'll use everybody. judges, we'll use everybody to make your life a living hell until they break you. And all they look forward to is seeing your broken face one day. Mm-hmm. And you know mm-hmm. what is the look of a broken face of a man? We've seen it many, many times. There's many broken faces to see in the history of mankind. There's been many of them where at one point you're like, man, I would have never seen this guy be the way he is. They broke him. They break his family. They break his money. They break his morals. They break his relationships. They destroyed this person. So this guy, in 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 <laughs> Tate, he chose out of all the bullies in the world to say, screw this. <laughs> I want to go up against those yeah. bullies. Yeah. When you go up against those bullies, you have to make sure your army is also filled with bullies. Can, yeah. Is there any way... 
that you can win against those types of no. Players. Yes, no, how can there you, is. I'm, yes, I'm this. yes, there is. The the way you win, you have to make sure you have a lot of people from large establishment organizations that support you, such as any reason why Dana White's untouchable? Are you kidding me? Dana White talks at RNC. Dana White puts Trump on his plane. Dana White goes on the you know Air Force One with Trump. Dana White calls everybody's bullshit out. Dana White goes, does what he does. Dana White's doing whatever he wants to do. How come nobody goes after him? Mm -hmm. Any reason why they're not targeting him? How, how come the government, how come no, hey, how come no one's touching that guy? Go ahead and touch him. How many people support him? You know how many people support him? Millions. The best football players. Yeah. The best baseball players. The best actors. The best, he's won the loyalty of so many influencers that yeah. they got his back. Mm -hmm. So what you do with a Dana White, and by the way, the thing with Dana White you got to also give him respect to, is Dana White has also learned how to be wise. His answers, he'll say things like this. Look, I don't know how you know Trump. Here's how I know him. When I needed to get a place to run out to do my first fight, it was, he was the first guy that was there for me. He's always been respectful for me. He's always done this. He, he doesn't go to the levels that he goes to. Mm -hmm. He just goes right Yeah. <laughs> Right there. Yeah. So, and and the other person that earned a little bit of saint status as well, where they almost got him, but uh, he's earned saint status is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan mm -hmm. earned saint status when they try to kind of drop him. The the good decision Joe made, believe it or not, the best decision Joe made, as crazy as this is going to sound, one of the best decisions Joe made is that he signed his contract with a company that's not in the U.S. Spotify's not in the U.S. Sweden, right? He's in Sweden. Like, Spotify, Sweden's like, dude, we deal with the rules and regulations of Sweden. We don't deal. We're not buddies going out to dinner with these Facebook, Google, you know, all these people that are on YouTube. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. We're on in our own planet. In, in the world of bodybuilding, there was one guy bodybuilders hated. His name was Dorian Yates. And he won six of them. The reason why they hated Dorian Yates is because he always trained in UK, never came to the parties, never went to the club. No, he did a little bit, but he was a guy that you wouldn't see him for one year, and he would only do one competition per year, Mr. Olympia. Everybody else was doing shows, shows, shows. So you would always see what they're looking like. This guy doesn't do nothing, and then all of a sudden shows up to Mr. Olympia, takes his shirt off, people like, holy Who the hell shit. Is that the champ is here. Hell? You're going to be the champ is here. Right? So, meaning Sweden, is, Spotify yeah. is sitting there saying, you guys keep talking shit to each other. We're kind of going to be over here, okay? Yeah. And we're going to keep Rogan. We don't care what you say. He's got his own opinions. We're going to keep him on. We're not going to cancel him. So, I don't know. Tate, uh, he's not naive. He knows what he's doing. He knows who he's targeting. There's a reason why he wants to be in a place like Romania strategically Tate is smarter than this. He knows if it came down to it. Uh, look, I'll show you something which is so, so funny on how much the media manipulates and people fall for this bullshit, right? Take a look at this. This is one of the craziest things I saw the other day. I'm going to send it to you, Rob, and just put it on the computer so we can see it. I want you. I want, by the way, meanwhile, can you do a poll as well just to see if people feel there is a credibility, there is you know, anything else to it or not? Uh, uh, we did a poll. Do you think Andrew Tate is guilty of human trafficking? Uh, had 6,893 votes. 87% said no. 87% said, said no. He is not guilty of human trafficking. 13% said yes. Yes. 87% said no. Okay, interesting poll. Well, that's just, our audience. I, I just mean, sent you I just sent you what I sent you. Can you pull up what I just sent you right there? You guys know what I think would be a great thing, Pat? And What's I'm pretty that? sure this would be a great bit. I don't know. Because when you said um, UFC and you know uh, Dana White... Isn't Tate supposed to fight uh, Jake Paul, right? How great would that be if he does get arrested and he's in jail? They do the fight in the middle of like the prison. Nah. And it's like Tate versus him and he's in a Romanian prison. I'd pay to watch that. I wouldn't illegally stream it. Yeah, I, I'd like to see actually what Logan Paul says at this point. Oh, wow. We all know oh, what do you the think beef he's saying that they right have. Logan Paul cannot say anything he's, right now because CoffeeZilla's going after him hardcore. Who, of, oh, big time. Because of crypto and what happened with crypto. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, it's a very, he's biting he's, his, he's biting he's his dealing right with now. A, I, I want you to read this. I want you to read this real quick with me. So zoom in a little bit so everybody can see. Just kind of a press the green button. Yeah, there you go. And then, okay, so check this out. Before Ukraine crisis, here's what the Guardian said. Welcome to Ukraine, the most corrupt nation in Europe. After Ukraine crisis to the right, the fight for Ukraine is a fight for liberal ideas. I love how you whispered Before it. Ukraine crisis, <laughs> Reuters, Ukraine's neo-Nazi problem. Hmm. After Ukraine crisis, <gasps> Reuters, for foreign fighters, Ukraine offers purpose, camaraderie, and a cause. Before Ukraine crisis, Vox, 
a Ukrainian comedian turned president in a embroiled, is embroiled in Trump's impeachment mess. Yes. CNN to the right. Yeah. Ukrainians are giving two <laughs> lessons in democracy that Americans have forgotten about. New <laughs> Europe to the left before Ukraine crisis. Ukrainian president rule because increasingly corrupt authoritarian. Washington Post after Ukrainian crisis. Zelensky, <laughs> the TV president, turned war hero. <laughs> I, I mean, love the whisper. But, but you know, you know what is crazy about this? Yeah. Like he, here's the part that the part that that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, drives me insane sometimes is how people are naive and they're not paranoid and skeptical enough. Mm. I trust a guy more that says, look, I don't know if Trump did anything with Russia, but maybe he did. Mm. Maybe he did. Okay, I'm good with that. You're right. Maybe he did. If he did, let's see what the courts have to say. Even if a person says right now, look, man, I, I don't I don't like this guy. I don't like what he says, but maybe he did some of this stuff, but I don't want to jump to conclusion saying he did. I kind of want to learn more about it. Let's see what happens over the next weeks where some other stories come up. How do you believe a media that at one point was telling you how horrible, corrupt, co how corrupt Ukraine was just a couple years ago? Literally, this is not 20 years ago, yeah. just a couple years ago, and out there telling us the new Churchill uh, a leader worldwide is a guy named Zelensky. FYI, no one's sitting here telling you Putin is the greatest thing since sliced bread. No. no one's telling you that. All we're saying right now is stop being so damn naive and believe in everybody, everything you hear. So this is the point I was going to make to Tate. The point I was going to make to Tate is the following. He has to be smart enough. He, he, he's a very witty guy, but I know the, the, the one benefit he's got, it, it's, you know, it, it's the ultimate benefit a, a man can have is to have the brother that he has. Mm -hmm. Those two have a 100% bond with each other, which is like a father's dream, okay? A father's dream would be to have your sons be that tight to each other. And they're both smart, and they've been both raised by a sharp guy, which is the father, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's not like this is not a... This is a regular lightweight guy. This guy, just assume, all when I hear these guys talk, you know all I think about? Here's all I think about. My visual goes to dad's in the car driving, Andrew sitting shotgun, Tristan sitting in the back, and he's asking, what do you think about the CIA? What do you think what just happened with Russia? What do you think about Stalin? What do you think about Lenin? Let me tell you history about what happened in South Africa such and such years ago. Let me tell you what's going on with U.S. Let me tell you about Jimmy Carter. Let me tell you about this. Imagine their car drives. You can't talk like this and think like this without somebody shaping your mindset. And the only person you can think about is who the father. The father is who shaped their mindset to be thinking the way they're thinking.